today, you and I are going to talk about the new Spro Flapping Frog. Before we get started, though, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, like. But if you're new, comment below so I can at least say hello. Here we go. The Spro Flapping Frog. Today, you and I are taking a closer look at the Spro Flapping Frog 65. The Spro Flapping Frog 65 is part of their Essential series. This series of lures is designed to be in every angler's tackle box. This topwater frog delivers a great kicking and buzzing action from the two large kicker tail legs. It's built to be weedless, yet it acts like a topwater buzz bait. It comes through heavy cover with ease without getting snagged. The body is hollow and designed to float and pause when worked slowly, which still makes the legs kick constantly and leave a bubble trail. The flap and frog is made with super tough TPE material which will help its durability. This will allow it to come through heavy cover without hurting the lure. The Spro Flapping Frog 65 has a 4 aught Gamagatsu Nano Smooth Double Frog Hook. This will help penetrate without any issues any hungry bass that hunts, attacks, and eats it. The Flap and Frog 65 by Spro is two and a half inches in length and weighs five eighths of an ounce. It's available in 12 colors and retail price is 10.39 each. So side note here, the Spro Flap and Frog had one kind of major flaw in it. The belly weight fell out of it. Now that happened on the very first day on the drone. I think I got two casts and that belly weight just completely, it was just hanging by some extra paint. So I pulled it off and I thought I'll go home, try to put it back in and see what happens. So I did push it in, but I should have super glued it. And then when I started to fish again, that on the second day where you're seeing the GoPro footage, it came out on the second cast again. So not really the happiest. I mean, this, the frog is super soft but it did have an influence on how the the frog floated over grass normally it would sit a little bit nose up and in this case well maybe if it was more flat uh when the the weight came out i i noticed that i was catching a lot more grass so you know just maybe a design flaw for more information about this product or the products used in this video please see the links in the description below Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um, kids fishing. <laughs>